the daughter of a former Russian double agent poisoned alongside her father in a nerve agent attack is, conscious and talking. Yulia Skripal, 33, I was, improving rapidly, on Thursday after she was exposed to Novichok in Salisbury, Wiltshire, earlier this month. The BBC reports separate sources have verified Yulia is both conscious and talking. It came as Russia's foreign minister said this evening that Moscow is renewing its demand for access to Ms. Skripal. Sergei Lavrov said at a news conference in Moscow, we have again demanded to be guaranteed access to Yulia as she is a Russian citizen. Salisbury spy attack, what we know so far, I hope the British side can fulfill its obligations under the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, ex-spy Sergei Skripal remains in a critical but stable condition in hospital. Russia expels 150 foreign diplomats and tit-for-tat move the US and European allies expelled more than 150 Russian diplomats this week over the poisoning. Russia announced on Thursday it would expel the same number of Western diplomats. The Metropolitan Police believe Mr. Skripal and his daughter, who was visiting him from Russia, first came into contact with the deadly chemical at his home in Salisbury. Detailed forensic testing revealed the highest concentration of Novichok was found on the front door. Investigators in protective gear pursue the probe into the nerve agent attack on Sergei Skripal Russian spy poisoning. Sergei Skripal and Yulia Skripal are fighting for life in hospital personnel in hazmat suits work to secure a tent covering a bench in the mall Things shopping center in Salisbury, where former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were found critically ill by exposure to a nerve agent. Military personnel are deployed to help remove vehicles from the scene after former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter were found critically ill after exposure to a nerve agent in Salisbury military and protective clothing remove vehicles from a car park in Salisbury police cordon. Military personnel in Salisbury traces of the nerve agent used to poison Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were found at Zitza in Salisbury Amber Rudd. She visited the scene where Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were found after having been poisoned by a nerve agent. Personnel are helped from their hazmat suits, right, after securing a tent covering a bench in the Maltings shopping center in Salisbury, where former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were found critically ill by exposure to a nerve agent. Personnel in hazmat suits walk away after securing a tent covering a bench in the Maltings shopping center in Salisbury, where former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal and his his daughter Yulia were found critically ill by exposure to a nerve agent. Police put a red bag inside a police evidence bag immediately after the nerve agent attack on a Russian spy. Officers previously issued CCTV of a woman clutching a red bag police activity in the cul-de-sac in Salisbury that contains the home of former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal who was poisoned along with daughter Yulia with a nerve agent Sergei Skripal. Shops at Bargain Stop in a CCTV image from five days before his apparent poisoning police said traces of the nerve agent had been found at some of the other scenes detectives have been working at, but at lower concentrations. Detectives will now focus their inquiries in and around the address, and specialist teams will step back from some of the other areas investigated over the past few weeks. Deputy Assistant Commissioner Dean Hayden said, I would like to reassure residents that we have placed the cordons around the park, and officers will be searching it, as a precautionary measure. I would like to reiterate Public Health England's advice that the risk to the public is low. Anyone with concerns regarding the ongoing police activity in Salisbury is encouraged to speak to the local officers or PCSOs at the locations, who will be happy to offer reassurance. Mr. Skripal and his daughter have been patients at Salisbury District Hospital since they were discovered unconscious on a park bench nearly four weeks ago. Spy poisoning, Russia to expel same number of diplomats as the West Medical Director Dr. Christine Blanchard said, I'm pleased to be able to report an improvement in the condition of Yulia Skripal. She has responded well to treatment but continues to receive expert clinical care 24 hours a day. I want to take this opportunity to once again thank the staff of Salisbury District Hospital for delivering such high-quality care to these patients over the last few weeks. I am very proud both of our frontline staff and all those who support them. Britain has accused Russia of being behind the poisoning, allegations fiercely denied by Moscow. In turn, Russia has suggested that UK intelligence officers may have been involved in the poisoning. Britain insists there is no plausible alternative explanation for the attack and has dismissed the series of suggestions emanating from Moscow as nonsense. Around 250 counter-terrorism detectives continue to work around the clock on the attempted murder investigation, which is expected to continue for months. Officers are examining more than 5,000 hours of CCTV footage and 1,350 exhibits that have been seized, while 500 witnesses have been identified.